Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's Mystic Minute is Pulling Back from the Illusion and Staying in the Silence. I had an experience today walking my dog. It was really early in the morning, but I'd already been on Facebook and Twitter. And when I stepped outside into the morning silence, I was full of noise. And there were all these emotional fields in front of me as I walked my dog. I made the choice to pull my attention back from all those emotional fields, from all those different places and time and space and whatever, and pulled back into myself as I walked my dog. I could almost see them all dissipate. And by the time I got to the corner of the block, I felt this tremendous clarity. I was in the present moment. I was in this experience of early morning, the daylight, the sun, my awareness of the plants and trees around me. Now, the other thing that happened as I did this is that I'm also clearly aware that this reality is an illusion. It's actually multiple illusions. It is a creation of consciousness, and that doesn't mean it's fake. I think we get confused when we talk about reality being an illusion, and then we want to dismiss it as if it's something made out of cardboard, or it's not something that we are living, breathing, and feeling when we are in these physical forms. When you're in the present moment, it's very real. It feels very clear. You can sense the sunshine. You can breathe the cool air. You can see and feel nature around you. And nature has its own sentience. And you can sense that. That's not something that is fake. That is something that is created as consciousness. And within that, you can create as consciousness and you can make changes from within yourself as consciousness. And it's a different sort of manifesting and creating than it is trying to make stuff happen, trying to move this from here to there, trying to shape the current reality into the way you want it to happen. You can almost hear the difference when you're creating from that viewpoint or that perspective. That's when things take a lot of effort to do and then they don't turn out right because you are trying to manifest as your body personality, not from your greater consciousness. Pulling your focus and your attention back from the news, from the drama, from everything going on in everyone else's lives, from things going on in your life. Just if you bring your attention back into your center, into the essence of who you are, it becomes very clear. You can drop the emotional aspect of it and have the clear feeling of it. And when I came back from my walk today, I had this wonderful sense of clarity. And as I came into the house, I realized I very much wanted to stay in that sense of silence and not return to the noise, at least for a little bit. And within that silence, the silence was actually filled with information. I was getting a lot of information from the level of consciousness, which was also clear and delightful and inspirational. And that is really different than the noise that we normally have going on. And that's really different than the constant input that we can have when we're going out into the world seeking information. Technology always tries to emulate 
consciousness. It attempts to replicate consciousness. The internet is a replica of the cosmic internet. It is consciousness, which is an intelligence greater than the brain and the accumulated information that we each individually have. But it is the essence of who you are. It is all your available wisdom. The information is inside you and that it is also accessible by you within you. And you have to get there by bringing your attention back into yourself. And you have to stay in the silence long enough to be able to hear clearly. Now for some people, that is a period of daily meditation where they quiet themselves, they close their eyes, they turn within, they breathe deeply, and have a meditation practice. And that works for a lot of people. Sometimes that takes discipline to be able to clear the noise or they have techniques for clearing the noise. And that works for a lot of people. Now for some others, they need to be more active because sitting still does nothing but bring up pain. Taking walks can be your quiet time. It puts your body into motion it puts you out connected with nature. It helps you clear the clutter from your everyday life. Now for some other people, it's journaling. Sometimes it's writing, whether or not they're writing with a pen and paper or they've got their hands on the keyboard and they just start their day writing out three pages, typing out three pages of all their random thoughts. And that helps them sift and shift and clear to getting their own inspiration and writing it down is great because then you have it right in front of you and it doesn't have to be one technique it might be doing all three of these things different times simultaneously you're capable the main information is that you have the information the information's inside of you and the only way you'll access it is by turning within so play with this and see what happens. Try this for seven days. Ask yourself questions and see what inner wisdom you provide. And if you like these videos, you can subscribe to them on YouTube. You can sign up below to get them in your inbox. If you'd like to know more, my website is joan-nukem.com. I have a weekly radio show and podcast. I have a weekly blog and e-zine. I also do these videos a couple times a week. And I do meetups around the Puget Sound in Seattle, Bellevue, Tacoma, Lakewood, and Olympia. And I also have transformational coaching programs. And you can find out more at joan-nukem.com. And I'll see you with another Mystic Minute in a couple of days.